Hey, welcome in. In this video, we're going to talk about uh, shaping melting data uh, between two different formats, uh, long format and wide format. Uh, both are pretty intuitive, uh, but can be a little bit confusing when, we're, when working with actual data. Um, the ggplot2 uh, 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 package, which we're talking about in this series, really likes uh, long format data, which is why it's important to, to uh, use it. So we're going to start by using a, by loading a, a preloaded uh, data set in R, um, which is called orange. So if you notice, I like if I highlight and run orange, it's pre-populated in R, it's, it's already here. Um, I'm just going to define it as a data table because I like data tables, I like working with them. And now I have my data here. Um, and the data is pretty simple. It's tree, uh, a tree column, which says the you know, number of the tree, so tree one, tree two, all the way to tree five, the age of the tree. I think this might be in days instead of years. I'd be surprised if it was a tree that old. And then the circumference of the tree in inches. So as the age gets higher, the circumference generally gets higher, but we'll see that further. And this is a little bit of a weird format. Um, this is actually uh, in long format because um, as you can tell, the data is very long. There's not a lot of columns. Um, there's sort of this one column for tree and then uh, a column for age and circumference and, and we um, uh, kind of kind of have our, our data flowing down from there. But the more default way to look at uh, this sort of data is uh, wide. So um, instead of having one column for tree, we'd have multiple columns for trees and in each of those columns we'd actually have the the data. So the way we can convert, uh, and this might be confusing, I think when you see it, it'll be easier. The way we can convert uh, from uh, long to wide is with the spread function. And our first uh, argument is going to be data because that's what we're trying to spread. Uh, the second argument is uh, going to be tree, which is telling us we want to spread the data by this column. This is the column that we want to become um, a bunch of our, our new columns. So tree, and then the actual data that we want, like the actual numbers in the data table, we want to be circumference. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and define this. And again, this might be confusing, but hopefully I'm going to define it. And then we're going to look at the head. Um, and this actually, I think, makes things a lot, uh, make a lot more sense. And before, before we do this, let me just, so think numbers are clear. So I'm not just pointing at numbers. I'm going to change the uh, tree. So the tree column is just sort of a bunch of numbers. I'm going to make it, um, I'm going to, uh, tree, sorry. I'm, I'm going through and I'm assigning to this column um, using paste zero, which paste text together, the text tree, and then the number of the tree, just so it's easier to kind of see, you know, instead of just a number, we actually have a word there. And when I spread the data, I am going to get this. So um, this, I think, is a lot more intuitive for us to look at. We're way more used to seeing data like this. We have the first column, which is the age, and then a column for tree one, a column for tree two, a column for tree three, et cetera. And each of these numbers is the circumference. So tree two has circumference 69 at age 484. Tree four has circumference 167 at age 1004, et cetera. This, is, this is, uh, makes a lot more sense for us. However, this might not be super useful for a ggplot. So for example, if I wanted to make a simple ggplot where I had you know, put my data in, my aesthetics, I'm going to say x equals age, and I'm going to say y equals um, data tree 1. So tree 1 is my, I want to use this as my, my y values. I'm going to add a geom point. Um, oh, sorry. Yeah. So uh, ggplot is chiding me as they should. I should just be using tree 1 instead of data dollar sign tree one. So here I have a nice plot of tree one and the circumference by age, uh, which is great that each point to the circumference. However, it's, it's kind of annoying if I want to add the other trees. I have to add another geom point. Uh, let's say data equals data, AES x equals age, y equals, y equals, ooh, equals tree two. And then I'd even have to say like uh, color is red so I could distinguish it. And now I have, you know, my two trees, but this is annoying. I had to add this whole other chunk of code. I'm going to have to add three more if I want trees three, four, and five. If I have an even bigger data table, it's going to have to add more. So th this is, this is annoying. And this is, there's no like clear way to do this when I have data, data in, in wide format. So what we want to do is we want to go back to long format, which in this case was what our data was originally in, but for the sake of exercise, we, we made it wide. 
Um, so I'm going to take the data and I'm going to melt it. So as uh, similar as how spread was kind of like taking skinny data and spreading it to like wide data, sp spreading long data to wide data, melt is going to take uh, the wide data and melt it down to uh, long data. So we're going to say uh, melt is the function, um, data is the input, and ID vars stands for the, the variable that we're using as going to be the ID. So it's going to be kind of the the um, variable that we melt around. And in this case, that's just gonna be age because we want to melt all these tree values around age. So this again might look weird. I'm gonna run it and then we're gonna look at it. And you can see we're kind of back to where we started. We melted all the tree, um, and I'm gonna add the tail in here too. We melted all the different tree and circumference values around age. So now we have this nice long data set where the first column is age, the second column is the variable, tree one, tree two, and the third column is the value of uh, the circumference. And this is in a nice, again, it's, it's long, but uh, this will be way better for ggplot as we can see. Again, this was the format the data was originally and I just made it wide and then long just so we could, you know, for the sake of um, uh, discussion. So now that I have my data in this nice format, um, I can do my ggplot super, super easily. Um, I put in data, I'm gonna use age as X, for y, y is going to be value. So it's going to be the third column here because this is the circumference, the actual data. And I'm going to say cull, short for color, equals variable because I want to color by uh, my tree variable. And that's all I have to do. So instead of like typing out all these different geom points, all I have to do is, is cull equals variable, geom point, and I'm going to run this and see a beautiful plot where now I have all my trees, uh, you know, the blue is tree four, the green is tree three, and and just set up nice like that with ggplot's nice color palette instead of adding geom points all the way. If I wanted to break this out even more, I could facet wrap, um, use my little tilde here and facet wrap by variable again, and I'm going to get a different plot um, for each of the trees. So I, now I get, this is probably even a nicer way to see it. Instead of all of them on top of each other, we can see that tree two immediately uh, is the biggest and tree three or uh, tree one are the smallest ones. So uh, again, uh, super useful if you, you know, I think why data is good if you're just kind of looking at data, it's very intuitive for humans, but ggplot really likes uh, long data because it can do this color and coloring and, and facet wrapping much easier. So that's all for now and we'll catch you in the next video.